So one of the things that I do is work with investors and work with um, other realtors and other contractors, and we are always looking for an investable real estate, real estate that we can go throw some money at and do some improvements and um, try to, well not try to, we do make a profit every single time. Um, I'm through a bunch of, of uh, flips now and we have made significant dollars on all of them for everybody involved. So uh, I usually try to do two or three every year. The challenge has been the last year or so that there has not been anything within my area that I really want to drive and work in to uh, invest in. So I'm not just going to throw money at something, uh, tie up investor money and, you know, three to six months of time and not come up with a significant return. It just hasn't been anything worth buying. So uh, today we're off to go and look at something that uh, has potential and I don't want to go into the details of exactly what is happening with this property, but um, the current owner is not going to be moving in, and it is under complete um, construction. They basically tore the whole the whole house apart, raised the ceilings, put a new roof on, did an addition, put the uh, the framing in, the. Um, asphalt shingles on, put the windows in, and that's it. There's no electrical insulation, plumbing, HVAC, nothing. Which is kind of nice because it gives me a fresh, clean slate to, uh, you know, to work with. But but also I can put my own little twist on it. So it's a neat, neat place. It's a bungalow. I'm going to try and get some, uh, some shots of it. Uh, I really don't want to disclose anything that, because I may not purchase it and I don't want to disclose to ourselves. So I'll be selective with what I shoot. But anyways, this is a, sort of another part of the day in the life. We have the uh, construction aspect, the real estate aspect, and the investment aspect. Um, they all tie in together very beautifully. But, um, but yeah, this is investment. So anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Well, it's uh, Saturday night and it's about 820. The roads are crazy, as you can see. Uh, if you don't need to be out, you're gonna wanna stay in. Hope everybody's having a good weekend, having a good night. And I will be back with something else real soon. Well, good morning, or I guess it's technically afternoon now. Hope everybody is having a great weekend. Um, the video that I'm putting out is gonna be sort of a compilation of a couple of days. Um, there's just a lot to edit, and I wanna make sure that it's a half decent piece of content that I'm putting out. I've actually got a ton of feedback, like over 100 people that have been commenting back to me and sending me messages and text messages. I've got, I've got even a couple phone calls, people saying like, we love the content. Um, and my goal with this is to basically um, give you sort of a behind the scenes um, view of what's going on in the everyday life of a business owner, not just a realtor, not just a contractor, not just my private life, kind of give you a, a view of everything. And uh, I could probably make, you know, an hour long video and maybe one day I'm going to, but um, for now, I think I'm going to break it up into business and personal and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to watch. So today's Sunday, I'm off to show some houses in Hamilton. I'm actually working with uh, some family for this. I don't know if they're gonna wanna come on video or not, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna be, yeah, take you through sort of a bit of a walkthrough of where, what we're doing. Um, it's an interesting time in real estate right now. Some of it's repetitive when you hear what I'm talking about, but Sometimes you're not watching previous videos, so I do talk about it. We've got a very interesting situation. Um, lack of inventory. I think our office, we've got about 170 some odd agents. We've got 65 listings. So, like, it's pretty low. Uh, and some of those are leases. So, 
uh, inventory is extremely low. I would, I would assume that's roughly the average for the rest of the offices in Burlington and probably Hamilton. The reality is we've got um, no inventory. So the stuff that's out there is either priced too high and is not moving, needs a lot of work and is priced too high, or is priced low and is getting multiple offers or bang on. So um, there's, a, there's a couple things at work here. If you're thinking about selling and haven't bought your new house, you really need to plan it out because you could very easily um, be, you could be in a situation where you could sell your house and not have anywhere to go. Like that's a very, you know, compromising position to put yourself in. So uh, in this market, it's a seller's market right now. Buyer's market means there's lots of inventory and lots of options for buyers. Seller's market means there's a ton of buyers and no inventory. So it's a buyer's market. Um, if you're priced correctly, if you have a house that needs a lot of work, underprice it so you'll get lots of competition. You'll probably get more than what you'd want to get. And if your house is nicely finished, price it bang on. Don't try to uh, you know, go for the moon with, with value. If it's priced well, you're going to get lots of activity and probably, potentially, depending on location and where you're priced, you're probably going to get multiple offers. So, some things to think about. If you are thinking, if you're thinking about making that move in the spring, right now, honestly, it's a great time to start looking for houses and try and scoop one up. Um, you know, where, oh, there we go. It's probably a great time to try and scoop one up before you put on the market. So I've got a few clients that we're doing that with and it's a, it's a waiting game, but that's it. Let's go check out these houses. So, got my showings done for today. I've got, um, I was just at Maple View Mall. I know the owner of uh, Jimmy the Greek there, so I try to frequent uh, as much as possible. Jimmy the Greek. The one in Burlington Mall is, uh, I think, a separate owner. But the one in Maple View, uh, he owns the one in uh, Oakville Place as well. Great guy. I love supporting... Uh, local businesses and even though it's a franchise and like a chain restaurants fast food place their food's delicious and uh they always do uh they always have good food so we went through two properties today my clients like them both and i think we're going to be making an offer on the second property so that is uh, that's exciting wanted to just jump on though because um I have an extensive, extensive construction background. And so I'm able to give a lot of insight into what to look for, especially in older homes. You know, when you're looking at potentially stone foundations, maybe they're a block foundation. Um, sometimes there's knob and tube, wiring, aluminum wiring, cast iron plumbing. What's involved with that? What are the costs? Okay. And what... Um, what, should, what signs of, of potential issues should you be looking for? So if you're thinking about buying something in an area where there might be, uh, it's an older house, newer house doesn't matter, but older house, we can actually walk through and look at what is wrong or what could potentially be wrong, what things are gonna cost, how long it's gonna take. Um, and also, is it a major concern or is it something that you could move into and deal with six months, a year, maybe, three or four uh, years down the road. So, I mean, obviously there's the windows, the roof, electrical, 
how good how good a shape are the bathrooms, the kitchen, what's involved with potentially adding up another bathroom or finishing a basement, reworking uh, you know the furnace location because it's sitting in the middle of an open room, things like that we can we can walk through on a case by case basis, and you get uh, expert advice and insight that you don't have to pay a home inspector to start with. I do recommend getting a home inspection on every single house because one, it takes the liability away from me. I, I don't have insurance to be a home inspector. I'm not claiming to be one. Um, but I have done a lot more renovations than a majority of home inspectors out there. I've opened up a lot more walls. I've dealt with a lot more electrical issues and plumbing issues. So um, you get my expertise from the renovations as part of my cost for the commission. It was kind of, it's kind of free uh, when bundled all together. So something to think about, I'll keep you updated uh, as we uh, present and potentially put in an offer. If we get the property, what happens? Trying to, trying to bring you in behind the scenes of what I do every single day. So uh, it's Sunday, 3.40. I've got to go play hockey at eight o'clock tonight. So we'll be filming some of that. And I uh, hope you're having a great weekend. If you're watching this Monday or Tuesday, have a kick-ass weekend. Uh, we'll see you soon.